Hey everyone, hope all is well. It's November 11th and it's the 11th episode of CyberSafe Weekly. Living Security and CyberSafe have announced this week a new human risk management maturity model to serve as a new standard across the cybersecurity industry. Living Security CEO and co-founder Ashley Rose says, the human factor is the last frontier of cybersecurity. We focused for decades on technologies and systems, but have consistently siloed our approach to the single most important element of any enterprise security plan, the people themselves. We at Living Security believe it is time for a paradigm shift. Our own CEO and founder, Oz Alashe, follows this stating, and so, as security professionals, we need to come together to continue to fuel curiosity and understanding that helps us be more effective at managing the risk within our organizations. This can't be done by any one team, vendor, or group unilaterally. We therefore invite everyone, analysts, vendors, practitioners, and thought leaders to collectively participate in creating a model that truly helps companies of all sizes embark on the journey of human risk management. Here at CyberSafe Weekly, we are all about bringing together the brilliant minds and efforts from right across the industry to help facilitate these important conversations. So whether you are from Know Before, Culture AI, Elevate Security, Outthink, Think Cyber, SANS, or if you're a security awareness behavior and culture professional, please take a look at this new model and let us know your thoughts. Next up, Twitter. How could we not talk about Twitter with everything happening on that platform at the moment, ever since Elon Musk came along and put on the captain hat? Well, one new feature is the ability to pay to have the famous blue tick on your account which, as you imagine, comes with a whole range of issues. I mean, just ask Nintendo. Naked Security have posted an excellent new blog about how this initiative has inspired a whole new wave of phishing emails. So when it comes to phishing emails, whether their hook is the new Twitter takeover, Black Friday super deals, home delivery failures, bank account problems, or any other sort of message that tries to lure you in with fear, including fear of missing out, uncertainty and doubt, they have listed some simple but important advice. Number one, use a password manager. Number two, turn on 2FA if you can. Number three, avoid login links and action buttons in emails. And four, never ask the sender of an uncertain message if they're legitimate. They summarize by saying, if in doubt, don't give it out. One of the biggest challenges when it comes to education around digital citizenship or cybersecurity is that many of the threats seem intangible. Much of the internet's workings are invisible, and so someone getting access to your personal information doesn't feel the same as someone breaking into your home. Well, Cyber Protect Officer Richard Gentile highlighted a recent report from Reuters in which a recent major breakdown of Denmark's train network was the result of a hacker attack on an IT subcontractor's software testing environment. While not a direct attack on DSB, the attack prompted subcontractor Supio to shut down its servers, which in turn affected locomotive drivers' ability to operate the trains for several hours. Richard says, although not a direct frontline incident, it shows how prevalent supply chain attacks can be. This isn't just about good cyber hygiene practices, but about checks and due diligence when dealing with suppliers. It is an excellent, although unfortunate example of when digital meets the physical. And finally, CyberSafe has an awesome something planned for the end of the year that you don't want to miss out on. So all I'll say for now is save the date, December the 8th, 2022. Okay, you done that? You saved it? Good, stay tuned for more details. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to share all your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you've never done it before, why not give it a try today? Have a wonderful week and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.